Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It is Crimeus Day 10 and today we will be talking about the first ever documented serial killer in Philippine history. In the year 1816, during the Spanish colonial era, dead bodies kept on appearing in different areas of the town Magalang, Pampanga. Now, these people seem to have been murdered and just left in random spots for the Guardia Civil to find. And over the years, these Spanish guards would find more and more bodies with no known suspect nor motive. Now, upon finding out who these victims were, it seemed to be random killings, possibly done either by a sole perpetrator or a group or faction of people. Now, of course, this caused a major concern in the community. No one knew who was going to be the next victim. And because of this, people were afraid to wander off at night, especially by themselves. And this paranoia lasted over a decade since the killings began in 1816 and finally ended in 1826, when the Spanish guards finally made an arrest. But who would do such a thing? And why? To everyone's surprise, it was their very own beloved parish priest, Father Juan Severino Maliari. Sometime in 1826, Father Severino got severely ill and could not serve at the church for a while. Due to this, a kahalili or a temporary replacement was hired in his place to conduct the weekly Sunday Mass. Now, the substitute priest decided to visit Father Severino to just check on how he was doing and discovered something gruesome at the home that he shared with his mother. This temporary replacement priest saw droplets of blood trailing from the outside of Father Severino's home all the way to the inside. Bloodied clothes and trinkets were also discovered. And these trinkets would soon be identified as possessions of Father Severino's victims that he had kept as souvenirs or trophies, much like every other serial killer out there. Now, this priest wasted no time and reported this immediately to the Spanish guards, resulting in Father Severino's arrest 10 whole years after he began his killing spree. And since this happened a very long time ago, not much is known about Father Severino's upbringing and childhood. However, he was very known in their town as an adult. Now, during the Spanish colonial period, all of the Catholic priests were Spaniards, and Father Severino was the first ever Filipino cura paroco or parish priest. He studied theology in University of Santo Tomas, which is the oldest university in the country. He was also said to be extremely talented in calligraphy and hand lettering and had a great relationship with the townspeople, especially the members of the Catholic Church. And that is also probably why no one ever suspected him of being the killer. How could someone this close to God take the lives of numerous people? And most importantly, why would anyone, let alone a priest, do such a thing? When he was arrested, he told the civil guards that he killed all of those innocent people to help his ailing mother, whom he believed was cursed. Father Severino claimed that his mother was a victim of kulam, a form of witchcraft conducted to inflict pain and suffering on an individual. And in his mind, if he sacrificed someone, that could save his mother. However, no matter how many people's lives he took, this did not prevent his mother's health from deteriorating. Now, Filipinos are known to be very superstitious people, and a lot of us do believe in the concept of kulam. However, this was during the colonialization period, and we were under Spanish rule at the time. And the Spaniards did not believe this at all. During this time, the first ever mental hospital in the country, the Hospicio de San Jose, was already built. However, instead of confining the parish priest there to get the help that he so obviously needed, he was detained and put in jail instead. Tests were never conducted, so Father Severino was never officially diagnosed with any mental health disorder. 
However, based on recent studies and observations conducted by medical professionals, it seems like he was indeed afflicted with a severe case of psychosis. In 1840, 14 years after he was arrested, Father Severino was hung to death for killing 57 innocent people. He was the first ever Catholic priest to be given the death penalty via hanging. And that is pretty much all that I have for you guys for today's video. As I have mentioned, this happened a very, very long time ago and there is not much information about it. However, I really did find this interesting that the first ever documented serial killer in the Philippines was a Catholic priest. That's just mind-blowing to me. Anyway, as usual, I would love to hear your thoughts on this case. And should there be any other case that you would like for me to cover on this channel, please let me know by leaving a comment. Thank you so much for tuning in and I will see you guys tomorrow.